Hello everyone. I haven't done a tutorial in a very long time, so today I decided to do a tutorial on the selection tools in Medibank Paint Pro. The selection tools can be found on the left hand side of the interface. And so today I'll be going over the select tool, lasso, magic wand, select pen, and select eraser tools, in addition to some transform and other shortcuts that are often used with the selection tools. So the select tool is a very basic tool, and, bas and you can make a selection using any specific shape, such as rectangles, circles, or eclipse, ellipses, or polygons. To make a polygon, all you have to do is click on the corner or on where you want your the corners of your polygon to be and double click on where you want your polygon to end. There are other settings on the top bar such as anti-aliasing which can be used to modify your selection. So selection is useful because you can use you can use your pen, eraser, um, paint bucket, and gradient only in that selection, which can make it convenient for digital artists. So you can see here, I'm using my pen tool, and even if I'm drawing outside my selection, there's no colors coming out. And same for the eraser, it's only erasing what's in my selection. The paint bucket only fills what is in the selection, so it's not going outside of the selection. And the gradient here is only in my selection. And the lasso tool is a, the next we have the next we have the lasso tool, which is a very easy to use tool. All you have to do is drag your mouse where you want your selection to be. So I have selected this girl sketch right here. The magic wand tool is, is right below the lasso tool, and this is a very convenient tool because if you have a closed figure, like how I have the square right here, it will select your the, all the area inside your square. And you can see that if I draw in it, it's still inside the square. Well, anyway, this magic wand tool also allows you to expand or uh, expand your s selection. So right here we have one pixel and you can see it's one pixel into the grayish area. So if I would like to make it a bigger selection, so expand to five pixels, I can change the number over here and select it again. And so now the selection is much bigger. Oops, okay, one second. So now we have a selection right here. This is useful because sometimes if you use a magic wand and your, your selection is not expanded enough, you may have some white gaps. So I'll explain. So let's say I have my expand at zero and I fill in my box, right? You can see right here there's a gap that most digital artists don't want. To to make the gap disappear, you can expand your selection. So let's try that. Let's go to 2 pixels and fill it. See now it's slightly smaller, but we'll probably have to go to a bigger pixel number. 8. See now we go like if we go like this, it's all 
sealed, so there's no white spaces. So then next we have our select pen tool. And this is a very cool tool because you can use whatever brush that you have selected and you can make a selection out of it. So let's say I wanted to select this mouth area. I can use the pen tool and select it like so. The red symbolizes the selection. You can also use other brushes such as like airbrush or acrylic. Um, basically any brush over here and when you click the regular select tool your selection shows up to erase a certain area of your selection you can go to the select erase tool and this erases any to any selections you have using the brush selected so I have the airbrush selected right now but you can change it to the G pen or anything you want so let's go back to the select tool and you can see that there is a smaller selected area. Some basic shortcuts that are useful and related to, related to selection includes control A or command A. This selects all and you can see that there's a small dotted outline. Another one is command or control D, which this D selects your selection. So I selected this area here, but do control D, there's no selection. Control shift I or command shift I inverses your selection. So I have this, I have the I selected over here. Oh. And Inversing the selection selects everywhere else except your initial selection. So now everywhere except the eye is selected. Now for the transform tool. This is a very convenient tool because it can shift or enlarge anything that you would like. So let's say if I wanted to make this eye smaller, I can select this eye. I can do control T can oh whoops wrong layer keep in mind that your selection <laughs> your, sorry your, your transform tool will only apply to the layer that you're selected and I forgot I was on a different layer so anyway we are on our color layer if we do transform we can move around our color layer for the girl sketch we can also enlarge it by moving these points, but keep in mind that your free transform is not selected. If you have free transform selected, it allows you to warp the picture, almost like if it's a sheet of paper that you can bend around. You can also flip and do other interesting transforms over here. And to finalize your transformation, you can click OK. Lastly, before lastly, you can also add another selection by holding the shift button. So basically, I have one selection over here for one eye, and if I want to select the other eye, I have to hold shift while selecting the other eye. So now I have two eyes selected, and I can apply any of the I can apply the transform tool or anything or the inverse tool with the selection. So we have come to the end of the tutorial and thank you for watching. Please subscribe for more tutorials and other videos and comment below what other tutorial you would like to see me do next. Bye!